Hello everyone and welcome to the Dream Conduit. We're a nonprofit offering education, guidance, and support to creatives entering the Web3 space and learning about NFTs. In this video, I'll show you how to create your own smart contract using Manifold, but first let's talk about what a smart contract is and why it's important for NFT creators in the first place. So smart contracts are like programs on the blockchain and they can do a bunch of different things. One of the things that smart contracts can do is create NFTs which are essentially digital certificates that represent ownership of something that's digital or physical. NFTs can be valuable because they cannot be forged, destroyed, or divided. This makes them suitable for representing ownership of something specific like art, land, or a car. The only person with control over an NFT is its creator, or to be specific, the creator of the smart contract that birthed it. One way to think of NFT smart contracts is like vending machines. Vending machines dispense something when you put a specific amount of change into them. And similarly, smart contracts dispense NFTs when you put a certain amount of currency into them. So just like the owner of the vending machine has a lot of control over the items that are in that vending machine, so too does the owner and creator of a smart contract have control over the items that came from that smart contract. When you as a creator mint your NFT through a marketplace, you're offering your NFTs through their vending machine, through their smart contract which gives them a lot of control over those NFTs overall. This is an unnecessary compromise thanks to Manifold, which allows you as a creator to have your own smart contract. And today we're gonna to take a look at exactly how to set one up. All right, so I'm gonna get started on the Manifold website. That's manifold.xyz. The link is in the description below also. And I'm gonna to go to the studio login button in the bottom right here. From there, first thing I want to do is I want to switch this toggle up top from mainnet to Gorilla. This will switch us to a test network. We can deploy our smart contract there and see how it behaves and looks before we deploy it to the Ethereum main network. So to do that, I'll get a MetaMask pop-up that looks like this, and I'll just confirm that I want to switch the network. Once I do, I can get started creating my first contract, and I'll go to New Contract, this button over here. I'll tap that and I'll have some information to populate for my contract. All right, so I've given my smart contract a few different properties. I've given it a name, I've given it a symbol, which is like a two to five letter abbreviation for my smart contract. I've given it an ASCII mark, which is like a signature. It'll show up right in the program code for the smart contract directly. And there are a few different tools that you can use to generate this. We'll have a few different options in the description. And I've given my contract the token type of ERC721. Uh, this is going to be the token type most creators want to use. There's another option, ERC1155. Uh, there will be a future video describing the difference, but for now, ERC721 is going to be the right choice for most people. So from there, I'm going to go to deploy on Gwirly. And once I do that, it'll compile the contract and ask me to confirm it. And that's a MetaMask transaction that I've seen a pop up here on my screen. So I'll go ahead and confirm this and then it'll take some time to deploy my contract and then verify it. So just a note on the transaction that I performed, I did have to pay some currency for that, but it's a free currency since it's a test network. It's called Gwirly ETH and there are a few different places that you can get it for free. It's completely safe. Uh, there'll be a link in the description for where you can get some Gorilla ETH so you can pay for this transaction if you want to mint it on a test network first. But back to the video. All right, so this is what it'll look like when our contract has been deployed on Gorilla. Uh, we can see that there's a link to Etherscan that we can click here, um, and we can have that if we need to. But just going back to Manifold, we can do a couple other things. We can mint a token on Gorilla and see what our NFTs would look like. We can click that button and be taken to a screen where we can test our tokens. That's gonna to be in our next video. But going back over here, uh, we can deploy this contract on mainnet directly from here if we wanted to. And we can select this button here to do that, deploy on mainnet. And then we're gonna just wanna confirm that we wanna do this. There's no going back once you do this. This is a final transaction. So once you confirm that, you'll get a MetaMask pop-up. And since we switched to Gwirly before, we're gonna to wanna to switch back to Ethereum now. And we'll just confirm the switch and then confirm the transaction that's about to appear. And I don't have enough money, but hopefully um, you do. But that's how you 
would deploy a smart contract to Ethereum using Manifold. Thank you for watching this video on how to create your own smart contract using Manifold. Our next video in this series will show you how to create tokens using that smart contract and the different things that you can do there. But uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us in the Dream Conduit Discord server. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with any friends that you think might find this useful. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.